my fellow Americans, today I offer up to you the Hayden bailout plan. And after I give you my bailout plan, I want you to grab your web cameras and tell me what is wrong with my bailout plan. I want you to base my bailout plan on what you see is wrong with America and tell me if I am wrong or right with my bailout plan. They're going to vote today on their bailout plan. I don't think it will pass because when they voted yesterday or was it the day before yesterday, it did not pass. The Hayden bailout plan is more comprehensive. The Hayden bailout plan is made by an American for Americans. The Hayden bailout plan does not consist of giving one red cent to anyone other than the people who are in charge of collecting the money for debt of an overdue debt of a debt period. This is my proposal. I propose that every American with a mortgage get your paperwork in order, mail your mortgage to Congress. With the Hayden bailout plan, Congress will look over your mortgage or your debt that you want exonerated. They will look at your debt and it will come up to a uh, denomination. The number they come up with is based on how long you had this debt, based on your age, based on your job, based on your income after your bills are paid. Then they'll come up with a number based on how much money you have after your bills are paid. And 2% of that will be added on to your property taxes. And that will pay off your debt to the country. Why am I saying your debt? Because everyone out there who has a loan will benefit from the Hayden bailout plan. Because banks are complaining that they're not receiving their money. There's a lot of people stiffing the banks and that's why the bank don't have any money. The banks need the money to continue to give loans to other people who won't pay back the money. First of all, a lot of these loans were given to people based on bad information. You want to get in that house, well get your loan down to the lowest possible number. And they whittled the loan all the way down to well, your bills will be $14 a month. What? You'll have to pay for this loan for 136 years. $14 a month is a good deal. People sign that shit. $14 a month, you damn right, I'm on this. Next thing you know, they owe up the ass, didn't read the small print. <laughs> Flex rates. $14 a month went to $2,300 a month, and now they can't pay their bills. Oh, that's a little exaggeration, but you know, hey, with the Hayden bailout plan, the American citizen, the people, will have their bills paid by the government, a one-time thing, and this money must be given back to the government. But if you are a taxpayer and you pay taxes every year on your property, your taxes will go up 0.5% to pay off your debt being paid off. The moral of the story in the Hayden bailout bill is this. We're not taking $700 billion and giving it to 50 people, 50 banks, 50 institutions will get this money and you still owe the money that you owe. Where is the logic in our government buying debt and you still own it? You still owe these people all this money after they have been paid? The same people have been paid and you'll still have to pay the same people? 
Where is the logic in that? But with the Hayden plan, the bills get paid and the people benefit directly. And for that, you can get on the fast track to pay it off. Or you can pay it off every year in property taxes. If your property is resold, they get their money. But if you leave the house or rent it out, they get their money. As long as you are in your home, your home cannot be taken from you. Cannot be re foreclosed by the next person who takes over the loan. It's your home. Provided to you by the United States government. And if you pay taxes on it every year anyway, you might as well let them pay off your debt. Raise that yearly tax by 5.5%. Oh, no, wait. 0.5%. I'm sorry, not 5.5%. Boy, it, whoa, that'd be worse. More people will even be, they throw you out your homes in. But with the Hayden plan, Congress will pay your bill. You pay Congress back. You already pay your, your yearly taxes on your property. I'm just trying to think of a way to help people and not help rich people. Seven hundred billion dollars into the hands of a handful of people who already have money is completely obscene. It's completely bad for the people. It may be good for our economy to give a bunch of rich people some money, but when the poor people still have to pay for it, it doesn't help anyway. I'm not going to go out and spend some money because i got to pay this $700 billion back so the next motherfucker cannot pay his bills. But with the Hayden plan, all debt wiped out. If people don't owe these entities money, what little money they earn goes directly back into the system. You gotta buy gas, you gotta buy food, you have to pay for electricity, utilities, water, garbage. America will survive with the Hayden bailout plan. Because with my plan, you bail out the Americans that are losing their homes and not the banks that are taking the homes. Thank you, America. And with the Hayden bailout plan, you don't have to worry about feeding your kids a cup of soups for dinner. been you do, man. What you do? Oh, boy.